Aikido. One of the least well-known of the martial arts has been labelled the non-violent martial art. Aikido techniques are employed to neutralise the aggressor, not to harm or seriously injure them. The student of Aikido is taught to respect the body of their opponent. Although many techniques in Aikido are painful, the pain is momentary and should never create any permanent damage. Injuring the opponent is a sign of lack of control and skill and is certainly not a display of the highest level of ethics. It's difficult to imagine a martial art that focuses on rendering an opponent helpless without serious or any physical injury. A characteristic of Aikido is the notion that less is more in the relationship between the one who's being attacked and the attacker. That is, the more forceful the attacker, the less energy that is needed to be expended by the one being attacked. Boxing from Thailand. Muay Thai, or Thai boxing, is a martial art over a thousand years old. In combat, it uses both hand and foot techniques. Old manuscripts describe eight basic tools of Thai boxing, fists, elbows, knees, and legs. The pre-fight ritual is performed according to the old habit. The boxer salutes the public with a gracious bow and flowing sweep of the hands to the head. After paying homage to his trainers, he performs a series of slow motion movements similar to dancing, which symbolize Muay Thai. The pre-fight dance means getting rid of fear from the heart, and the main purpose is to bring concentration to the fighters. The whole ritual lasts several minutes. In the 18th century, Thai boxing was taught as a subject in all schools and was a part of military training. At that time, fights were very cruel, there were no weight categories and rounds. Fighters were barefoot with their fists wrapped in hemp or cotton bandage. Genital protectors were made of coconut shells. And all kinds of kicks and punches were allowed with few limitations. Thai boxing differs from karate and kung fu in several respects. Kicks and punches are delivered with full power and without holding back. Even today, boxers fight barefoot, wearing only cotton anklets on their feet and boxing gloves on their hands. Focus and power, timing and reflexes are developed by constant sparring practice, hitting the kicking and punching bags and pads, and participating in matches. In order to avoid unnecessary injuries, fighters wear protective equipment during sparring.
chi, the vital life force of the body, developed and enhanced by the ancient Chinese art of self-defense, tai, chi, chuan. In the old days, only noblemen could learn the art. It's been practiced in China for 1,000 years. Primarily, it's a philosophy of physical, mental and spiritual dimensions. It's a system of meditative exercise which prevents and heals ailments through revitalizing and rejuvenating the vital organs of the body if practiced regularly and accurately. Fist under elbow. Step back to push away the monkey. It's a series of continuous rhythmic steps that give the body healthful and harmonious movement. It's a non-stop slow exercise which takes 20 minutes or longer to perform. In fact, the slower the performance, the greater the benefits. The magic bird stands on one leg. The important principle of the art is relaxation, which encourages meditation. Tai Ti Chuan encourages meditation in motion while it circulates the life fluid through the body. And the big bird spreads out its wing. It's conducive to longevity. There are documentary evidences that some practitioners of this art have lived to a very old age. Looking for the golden needle. The chi can be directed to all parts of the body and is thought of as the universal breath. Opening the fan. It exists everywhere and by using one's imagination and will it can lead anywhere. Destruction. Of all the aspects of martial arts, the most dramatic and controversial are the extreme powers demonstrated in martial arts and action films. Many people believe these apparently impossible physical feats and immense destructive forces are tricks and fantasy. Yet these feats are possible in the real world. Some exceptional martial artists are able to train their bodies to endure enormous pressures and destroy immensely strong objects with nothing more than their own flesh and blood. Destruction techniques are an art unto themselves, performed by skilled exponents, and under no circumstances should these feats be copied. Eskrima. Eskrima is now taught and respected worldwide. The methods and styles of Eskrima vary considerably, but all teach weapon skills first and empty hand skills afterwards. In contrast, say, to Japanese and Okinawan arts, which teach empty hands and then weapon skills. Primarily, the stick is taught initially, 
followed by bladed weapons, and finally, empty hand methods. The Filipino way of instruction is more formal and less rigid in approach. Simplicity and efficiency is emphasized. As in most Southeast Asian systems, weapon and limb destruction is paramount. A screamer is also known by many other names, most noticeably, Kali and Arnis. Today, over a hundred major systems exist, named variously after places, founders, methods, etc. Historically, the Filipino system was called Kali and evolved from Indonesian and Malaysian methods. Kali was and is a complete martial arts system covering every aspect. Most training is done with a partner. Kata and forms are a modern addition to Eskrima. Challenge matches are still common in the Philippines and quite old masters will still accept any challenge. Freestyle. Freestyle had developed over the last decade and is more of a free-flowing system of fighting as opposed to the traditional rigid forms of martial arts. Because freestyle is built around the individual rather than an actuated dictated style, it allows a kind of natural expression to come through. Freestyle exponents kick and punch as do ordinary martial artists, but not in straight lines up and down the gym. Instead, they adopt their own stances and practice techniques on each other lightly, which is more in line with their fast style of competition. The freestyle competitions are a well-established circuit through the UK, Europe and the world, providing an exciting and entertaining spectacle. Kung Fu or Kung Fu means simply skill or ability and is composed of a number of mutually inspired systems for fighting, health development and dance from North and South China. Some systems of Kung Fu emphasize strenuous energetic kicking and punching while others stress more subtle techniques. Indeed some are nearly static. 
The origins from history vary. Some say the Shang dynasty of 16th century BC, others place it 475 BC. Probably its origins are bound up in the unique way China learned to absorb aspects of her conquerors' cultures. Some styles have Mongolian, Indian, Tibetan, and other cultural ideologies. There are several hundred styles of Kung Fu that can be divided by geographical region, northern or southern, and also philosophical roots, Buddhist, Taoist, communist. They can be further divided by the way they deal with the force and techniques, linear and circular movement. The more popular recognizable styles of Kung Fu range from Chai Li Foot to Hop Ga, Praying Mantis to Monkey Style, Wing Chun to the Drunken Style. Hapkido is a Korean art of self-defense. Translated, it means the way of power coordination. There are different styles of Hapkido, as there are in other martial arts. Most schools will consist of the following aspects. Hand strikes, whilst traditionally Hapkido strikes bear resemblance to karate or taekwondo punches, the modern hand strikes actually are closer to Western-style boxing. Kicks. Hapkido has a wide range of kicking techniques, again bearing resemblance to Taekwondo and also many low-level self-defense orientated kicks. Joint locking techniques are very similar to both Jiu-Jitsu and Aikido and form a great part of most Hapkido syllabus. Throwing. Apart from joint lock throwing, there are also large circle throws which in their basic practice are virtually the same as judo throws. Grappling. As in most throwing arts, there is a certain amount of mat work involved, therefore grappling is encouraged. Add to these the fundamentals of break falling, blocking and counter techniques, and you get an idea of the range of Hapkido. Weapons are taught consisting of long and short sticks, sword, walking cane, and in some styles, rope and fan techniques.
Iaido, or Iaijutsu, was the method of recognising an opponent's murderous intentions and cutting him down with the two-handed sword, the katana, before he could draw his weapon. Like the fast draw of the American cowboy, if you like. In the feudal days, the samurai practised the killing arts. Different schools practised and cherished different techniques. But the art was usually signified by the name of the weapon, followed by the suffix, jutsu. Jutsu means true. Thus the gentle, disciplined mindset of the Buddhist monk was transformed by the warriors into a continual readiness for action, which is the essence of the jutsu schools. The most obvious of these is Iaido. E meaning at any given time and place, the mind and body are under conscious control. I meaning the ability to adapt to the changing circumstances of life. And Do meaning the path or method of achieving this right-mindedness. So Ei Jutsu, the cutting down of an opponent before he could strike, founded upon a form of Zen awareness, has now become Iaido, the development of inner strength, understanding and spiritual awareness through the practice of kata. Kata are the formal exercises of the sword. Judo, founded in Japan by Jigoro Kano in 1882, a student of jiu-jitsu, formulated a new system of barehanded fighting called the gentle way, judo. Although it comprises of many throwing, strangling and joint locking of jiu-jitsu, the development and general guidelines and strict rules regulating the use of these techniques distinguishes judo as a sport and jiu-jitsu the combat art. The two principles of judo that Kano based his new art on was maximum efficiency with minimum effort and mutual benefit and welfare. Since 1964, judo has received Olympic recognition and is an accepted international sport. Jiu-jitsu techniques include kicking, striking, kneeing, throwing, choking, joint locking, holding and tying, as well as the use of certain weapons. Its origin can be traced to the 17th century, 
and in the late 17th to mid 19th century, 700 jujitsu systems appeared in Japan. Although jujitsu techniques are learned initially individually in a static position, the essence is to move from one technique to another as quickly and as often as necessary to control an attacker. Karate can be defined as a martial arts system in which all the possible parts of the body and all the possible movements which a human body can perform are to be used. The training of karate generally starts with various techniques of punching, hitting, kicking and blocking. The Japanese letter kara means empty and te means hand. Therefore it's commonly translated into empty hand, a combat art without using any weapons. Nonetheless, it's wrong to say that karate is an empty hand martial arts system. This type of martial arts system is very old, but the name karate is quite new. It's generally known that Keio University Karate Club used the word in their club magazine in 1929. Jichin Funakoshi, who lived between 1870 to 1957, known to be the first man to introduce the Okinawan system of karate to mainland Japan, he used the term karate in his famous book, Karateido Kayahan, which was published in 1935. There are literally hundreds of karate styles or schools of teaching. The four more well-known systems are Shotokan, Waduru, Shotoreo, and Gojoru. The world governing body has organized all styles of karate international competitions since the early 70s. These are an exciting demonstration of controlled karate combat using skills and speed to score points. Lao Ga Kung Fu was introduced to the West in the early 60s by Master Yao. A style practiced mainly in southwest China, it's classified as a southern hard external form of Chinese boxing, specializing in short fist techniques executed from firm stances. In the 70s, the Lao Ga system, together with traditional features of martial arts training, developed highly successful tournament fighters in semi-contact full contact, open and national martial arts events in the UK as well as internationally. The fighting techniques of the style are based upon the movements of the five Shaolin animals. Dragon, tiger, snake, leopard and crane. Like all Shaolin devised systems, Lao Ga has a significant internal content as well as soft style techniques.
Musical forms in the 80s and 90s emerged as a new type of martial arts display. Patterns, kata and forms to music. This area of performance has evolved into an artistic and choreographed demonstration, requiring the skills, balance and timing of martial arts techniques displayed with the performer's individual creativity. Nunchaku. During the Japanese occupation of Okinawa, some 350 years ago, invading warlords prohibited the use of ordinary weapons, such as the gun, sword and spear. So, the Okinawans turned to karate, and kabodo, the use of karate weapons such as the bow, that's a staff, sai, a short sword with two prongs at the handle, kama, a sickle, and Sarushin, a length of rope with weights attached to both ends, for protection. Some kobodu weapons were farm implements which the ingenious farmers converted into effective protective devices. For instance, the forerunner of the nunchaku was an instrument used as a bit for horses and was later put to practical use as a weapon. The nunchaku was constructed of two hardwood sticks which were securely connected by rope braided from horses' tails. Today, the sticks are tied with rope or chain. In a defensive situation, however, it could be used to strike, block, hit, twist and punch. The early practitioners of karate in Okinawa quickly incorporated the art of kobodu because of its effectiveness, and today, many movements of the two arts are alike. Okinawan Goja-ru was the first karate style in Okinawa to be given a name. It has its own unique kata techniques and breathing exercises. Literally, Goju means go, sturdiness, firmness and hardness, and ju, gentleness, flexibility and speed. Every movement is one of studied symmetry and grace. Head, hands, body and feet move in smooth coordination and harmony. Characteristic of Okinawan Goju-ru karate is that in most techniques the upper body is kept upright and short steps are used when advancing or retreating. 85% are hand techniques, 15% kicking techniques. Founded in the late 1920s by the late Chojun Miyagi, the Okinawan Goju system consists of 14 formal exercises or kata in which all the karate techniques in the style are contained. Characteristics of their training 
is to harden the entire body through deep abdominal breathing while maintaining the correct kind of body tension. Jack Sunat is the Indonesian national defence sport and is practised as a solo exercise or with a training partner. Training varies with the many styles of Penjak Sunat, but all systems are based on the use of weapons and are not considered empty hand styles in the purest sense. Empty hand motions may be performed, however, while wielding one or more weapons. Training varies with styles, but a typical method would be fundamental attacks against the weak points of the body, posture and footwork, formal etiquette, sparring exercise, advanced vital point attack and defense, spiritual training being the final phase of training. Sometimes percussion instruments provide background music. Many Indonesian authorities maintain that the early stages of Penchak Silat goes back to 6th century AD. Chi Kung. There are 18 basic exercises of the Chinese art of Tai Chi Chi Kung. Chi Kung has been developed from Tai Chi and is a simple form of exercise harnessing the Chi of the body to promote health and well being.
sink. Work into the cornice in front of you. Sink. Relax. Use that imagination. Think of the chi flowing, moving around the meridian lines. through to the hands. Cloud hands in horse guys. Turn in the waist. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep the hips still and turn from the waist. Cloud hands, like clouds drifting across the sky. Let the waist turn the shoulders and the arms. The eyes will follow. Chi is flowing. It's a good sign. And yet, you're not working very hard or say, not physically externally and yet you're having a good workout but we're having a workout internally Refereeing in martial arts systems is well organized in the major schools such as Taekwondo, Karate, Thai Boxing, etc. Karate contests do not allow contact and the blows must be stopped before it reaches the target, with the referee assessing when an immobilizing point has been scored. In Taekwondo, the opponents are allowed to kick and strike with control to most areas of the body in a continuous sparring system where points are added up at the end of the contest. Thai boxing is similar to boxing in as much as knockouts are allowed with the hands, but also the feet. Points are awarded and a points decision can be given. Very good. So Brian's grabbing the bag, turning, wrapping around, putting him down. That's good. Self-defense and survival is a topic that concerns most people in all walks of life. The martial arts gives the student many mental and physical benefits. However, a large percentage of students take up a martial art initially as a self-defense. Although the martial arts have developed over many hundreds of years, they are easily adapted to modern day society and situations.
Taekwondo is the Korean art of self-defense, formulated in 1955 by General Choi Hong Hee. Literally translated, Taekwondo means foot fist art and is characterized by its spectacular kicking techniques. Although Taekwondo bears a superficial resemblance to karate, the art differs radically in its theories of generation of power and application of technique. As the student begins to develop confidence in demonstrating basic techniques, his prowess in the art may be tested in three major ways. The performance of patterns, which are a series of fundamental self-defense movements against imaginary opponents set to a fixed and logical sequence. Fixed and free sparring, whereby the student applies techniques in a controlled fashion against a live opponent. And destruction, in which the exponent is encouraged to apply maximum power in order to break objects, such as boards or bricks. Taekwondo is one of the few martial arts to retain destruction as part of its grading syllabus. Taekwondo competitions are spectacular to watch. Jumping and spinning kicks, lightning strikes. An armed combat. Defense against an armed opponent or opponents is an added area of training for martial artists. The skills were initially developed by unarmed civilians to defend themselves against armed samurai warriors. Although it's not advised to confront an armed attacker in any situation, sometimes there is no alternative. Video and the big screen. The impact of the martial arts was first seen on the big screen in the 1960s with the James Bond movies. Then came along the legendary Bruce Lee and the inimitable Jackie Chan in the 1970s. In the 80s and 90s, the video boom along with the big screen saw the introduction of martial artists Jean Claude Van Damme, Cynthia Rothrock, and Chuck Norris along with Jackie Chan. A leading light in the early 90s saw the exciting newcomer Donnie Yen, star of Tiger Cage and In the Line of Duty. In the very beginning of Kung Fu movie history, right, we got the, uh, because in the old days, which is about 20 years ago, uh, a lot of people are not exposed to martial art. So a person can come into a movie, make, make a movie with very primitive knowledge basic punches, karate punches, basic blocks, that kind of stuff, right? Then the second era is the traditional Kung Fu movies, you know, with the, all the Shaolin monks and that kind of stuff, right? Uh, mainly Hongga style, Hongga Kung Fu style with the tiger crawl, and you, you got the tiger, you got the snake, you got, uh, you got crane or mantis, 
Uh, then, after that stage, the Bruce Lee stage, Bruce Lee brought the practical fighting in, in movies. Uh, the way he punched, back fist, uh, hook punch, or he would a uh, couple of taekwondo kicks, Ramos kicks, side kick, right? Then uh, after Bruce Lee, that's the Jackie Chan era. The audience got tired of watching all the basic stuff. They wanted to see something more exciting. Jackie Chan brought in the acrobatic stuff, uh, different combination. For example, in Drunken Master, he brought in the drunken form. Of course, it's all made up, right? Drunken form, you know, very, very cinematic. That kind of stuff, right? Most types of martial arts have weapons associated with their training schedules, such as knives, swords, sticks, chains, spears, etc. In the UK, there are strict laws governing the carrying and practice of weapons. All the people demonstrating their skills are experts with many years of practice, and they should not be copied. If you wish to learn these skills, do so from a qualified instructor at a reputable club. In most areas of martial arts, the striking areas are very, very important. Not only the vital areas of the body, such as the eyes, the nose, and the throat, but also the solar plexus and groin area. Also the joints on the body, and are also very important, the nerve points. What I'm going to demonstrate now is not only the striking areas, but also the weapons that we use, i.e. the forefist, the back of the fist, the bottom of the fist, the knife hand strike, ridge hand strike, palm heel, elbow, head, also the knee and various parts of the foot. We now move on to the back of the body. From here, we've got the base of the skull, which can again be middle knuckle strike, can be knife strike or palm heel strike from here. Nape of the neck, again, a very, very effective area. Base of the, um, base of the fist from this position. The back, middle of the shoulder blades from this po point, straight into the back from here, causing effective winding. 
uh, into the kidneys from here, can be middle knuckle strikes from here, and also into another vital area, which is more apply applicable when your opponent is on the floor, which is the coccyx from there. We now move into the lower area of the back of the body. From here, the back of the knee, again striking with the side or the heel of the foot, into the Achilles tendon, again striking with the side or the heel of the foot. Moving back to the front of the body from here, and let's go through a few more kicks. The instep, the most common one, is to the groin area from here. So from this position, a nice fast kick to, from this position. Ball of the foot, again, can be to the groin or can be to the solar plexus from there. The uh, ball of the foot can be struck, as, again, in a round kick position. Again, this can be to the solar plexus. As well as the ball of the foot, we can kick with the instep of the foot, and this is more applicable onto the side of the neck or onto the head. And now just a few elbow strikes from here, straight up from this position, using the knee coming up into the solar plexus and down from here onto the nape of the neck. Those few techniques were just a few of the techniques you can do in a real self-defense situation. It's very important that any form of martial art that you use the absolute minimum force necessary uh, to defend yourself against an attack. Now it is also very important that when you are learning martial arts that you go to a reputable martial arts instructor. Yin and Yang. In the symbol, the yin and yang are two interlocking parts of one whole each containing within its confines the qualities of the other. Yin can represent anything in the universe. Negativeness, passiveness, gentleness, femaleness, moon, darkness, night. The other half of the circle, yang, can represent positiveness, activeness, firmness, maleness, sun brightness, day. The common mistake of most martial artists is to identify these two forces, yin and yang, as dualistic, soft style and firm style. But yin, yang coexist as one inseparable force of an unceasing interplay of movement. They are neither cause nor effect, but should be looked upon as sound and echo, light and shadow. If yin and yang are viewed as two separate entities, realization of the ultimate reality of the martial arts won't be achieved. Firmness is concealed in softness, softness in firmness. Activity includes inactivity, and inactivity includes activity. This is what the black and white in the figure are meant to represent. Zen is the best known name of Mahayana Buddhism. It is reported to have been brought into Japan from China about 520 AD. The word Zen simply means meditation. It requires great self-discipline and can only be acquired from a master. In a monastery, Zen, conscious awareness, enters every aspect of the monks' lives. The practice of making the monks work on the land, producing their own food, all the time meditating, is especially peculiar to Zen. It's intended to bring the mind to peace and understanding. The purpose, spirit and discipline of Zen, being detached from all things, but at the same time aware of all the realities of life, was seen by warriors as especially important. Life was short and brutal. They had to be on guard, aware at all times. Zen, therefore, was a great influence on the samurai. 